What's the sure sign of a rank amateur? Asking the reporter to send the questions in advance. Reporters hate this. In some media organizations like the New York Times, it's considered an ethical breach to give the questions in advance, and a reporter can actually be fired for doing so. Let's step back for a moment. Why would an interview subject, a CEO, a business executive, want the questions in advance? Because they erroneously believe that this will help them gain control. They'll pass the test. They'll ace the test. And the reality is a media interview is not like a college English exam. That's not what it is. It's not a psychology multiple choice test either. It is an opportunity for you to talk about what it is you do, your area of expertise with a reporter, and get messages you care about into a final story. I've seen no correlation proving that knowing questions in advance will actually help you get the messages you want into the final story. I've seen a lot of evidence that says if you ask questions in advance from reporters, they'll hate you. They'll feel like you're manipulating them. They will feel like it's 1975 and you are a minister at the Kremlin and the former Soviet Union. They don't like that for many, many reasons. For starters, they don't know what the questions are. They need to listen to your answer to the first question and ask lots of follow-up questions. You destroy their ability to do their job by forcing them to come up with all the questions in advance. You destroy their ability to have an interesting conversation with you. So don't ask for the questions in advance. Now, having said all that, there are some sneaky ways to get at least some of the questions in advance. I say s sneaky. There are some smart ways. What you can do, and I like to do with reporters, is say, hey, I can't talk to you now. Your deadline's at four, I'll call you at two. Hey, I want to respect your time as much as possible and be prepared. Are there any other subtopics or areas you want me to be prepared on? And quite often, the reporter will then give me five or 10 questions. And then I can at least be thinking about those as I come up with my messages. So don't be afraid to ask reporters for anything else that they want you to be prepared to talk about. And don't be afraid to say you know, any other specific niches or sub-niches you want to focus on that we should be prepared for. Reporters will often be happy to give you the topics, the other categories they want to talk about, but don't try to nail them down to the exact question. And for goodness sakes, don't ask them to email you all the questions. The only exception would be if you know it's a trade publication and they're comfortable with that, perhaps you're 12 time zones away another part of the, of the world and it's not convenient to talk by phone. In that case, it's okay. Otherwise, don't do it.